All right, so in this session, we're going to continue. Uh, what are we going to do after the recording? So after recording the LSMW, so we need to do some, like, you know, some logistic housework right here. So first thing first, take a screenshot of this screen. So I'm going to take a screenshot as we speak right now because we would need this information. There's a screenshot. Or maybe you just hold on your screenshot. Uh, first of all, you need to click on default all because I want to populate this information here. Now I'm going to take a screenshot. I'm taking a screenshot right here because I would need this information. Now I want to empty out all these white field information, the information that I populated. So I click on each one of them and empty out the, the default value. So I don't want to have default values. Double click here, delete all the default values. I'm just deleting all this information right here. All right. So I deleted all this information and I need to save. Then you go back. And you go back again and make sure you save here. Okay, as you can see here, the information that came in. Now you go back. So once you go back, the system takes you to the next step immediately. So before going and continue executing, so make sure that you have an Excel sheet that is open. So I'm just go open, open an Excel sheet that I would be able to use it. And Okay, so I, I just have my Excel sheet right here. It's handy, so I'm just keep it away. Just keep an Excel sheet handy. Then you click into Object Overview and select Table. You want to copy all the information under the word T code. So Control Y, so you can get that. Uh, uh, you know the yellow box only in one field. Control Y. Then you see copy, drag with your mouse into all this information. And then you do control C so to copy the information. Then I want to just copy paste this information to my Excel sheet. So I want to get my Excel sheet right here. Uh, all what I need to do is just paste it. Okay, once again, let me just go back. I haven't copied it yet. So copy here. And then you just you come here and just you paste it. Okay. Uh it's not supposed to be there that that way, but let's try to get this information here. Control Y. Okay, I'll just copy each one individually. Just I don't know why it's actually coming together. Usually it doesn't come together. Uh, now let me come the key Control Y. Okay, I want to get this information uh, right here. Let me get the other information right here. Um, finally, this information here. Control C. So now you just get all the information here. Each one of them is in its own. It's in its own field, in its own column. Technically, what does that mean? Is this is the technical name? Just to help you out, just to give you some translation here. Here is the technical, the name of the field. Okay, so it's just name of the field. Usually, all the name of the names of field that comes into this gibberish like uh, language, which you can't understand. And here's the description of the field, like description of a field. And here's whether it's a character, what type of type of data in the field, type of data in the field. And finally, how, what is the length? Okay, is it 10 characters, two characters, and so on and so forth. For example, whenever it says char, that means it's a, it's a character. So just for us, just to keep it simple, delete all this here and say C means character. Everything is C as a character for now. Just to keep it simple for us, we'll get all this information here. So now we've got it all characters. Here's, for example, control and area is going to be four characters. Um, cost center is going to be 10 characters. And date is going to be 10 characters and so on and so forth. So we'll just keep it this way for simplicity for now. And we'll start to go ahead now and continue our work into this area. So you go back. 
So we haven't done anything. So the system took you right to the second space, so to the second step. There's 14 steps in total. We've done the first step. Now the system will take us to the second step. You, you execute, make sure you be in the change mode, and you click Create. Now you create a, a source structure. I'll just say source for now. Okay, this is source structure. I'll call it source, source, and you click enter, and, and you save, and you go back. And after the source structure, you want to go to, system is going to take you to the next step, which is the source fields. Uh, I'll go really quickly to the source field, and now I'll go to the change mode. Okay, change mode. Then I will click here into the source, the, the word source. Then I'll click into this one, so you will maintain all the fields. As simple as that, now we already have the Excel sheet that we've actually populated earlier. Let me just show you how we're going to use it. So it's very straightforward. So all which we need to do is you need to get the, let me just make it a little bit bigger, get all the fields name. Now the description, the field name, you get all the fields name, control C, and you come here, you give all the field name as it's asked for. Then it's going to ask you what is the type. So let's start to get the type of the data. Here's the type of the data. And I'll just I, I'll give all this information here for the title there. Now it's going to ask you what is the length. You're going to get the length. Control C. You come back here, and here is the length of the data. And you click Enter. And as you can see, the description is going to be populated by itself from the system. So we don't have to worry about it. So the system will take care of this. Then you save it. You go back. And you save it. You go back again. As you can see, the system it takes you to the next step. Okay, I'll show you the structure in the next session. It's very, very straightforward. All the next steps from here is going to be really the easiest steps ever. So I'll see you in the next session where I could show you where we're going to continue all the other steps that is needed for the LSMW. Thank you so much. And appreciate it. I'll see you soon.